What is up YouTube? My name is James. I'm bringing you guys a brand new light tutorial here today. Today we're going to be going over snowy photos for the second time on my channel. And so today we're going to be doing two photos. The first photo I already edited. We're going to be going through it and just seeing what I did to how I got that look on that photo. Going through everything from the temperature to the tone curve to the hues and saturations and all that shit to the brushes I used. Pretty much everything that I did completely on that photo. The next photo we're going to be looking at is a photo that I have not edited yet, but we're going to be going at it from scratch and seeing what we can do with it to make it look as best as we possibly can. This photo I already edited before, but I'm editing a brand new version with it to see what I can come up with and to see if it can improve or if it isn't as good. See what I can see what happens. All right. Let's hop straight into this tutorial. It's pretty long, so buckle in, get a snack, and the downloads for the raw files of these photos will be in the description below, so you can actually go download those. Almost forgot to mention that. Make sure you download them, follow along, have your own snow photos or whatever kind of photos you want to edit, and follow along, edit to your heart's content. Alright guys, so here's the first photo that we're going to be editing here. It's an ambulance in Times Square. Going through, we got some cop cars behind it, cop cars to the left. I think it's super dope. You can see the snow super well because the light shining on the snow. And the snow in the foreground is just super detailed and nice. I really like it. It's one of my favorite photos I've ever taken, especially in the snow. So we're going to get a look into how you get this desaturated, like super moody snow photo. So firstly, you want to bring your white balance down. So whatever it is starts out with, it's going to be mid. It's going to be like... In the middle of yellow and blue obviously you want to bring it down more towards the blue side so originally it was like this you want to bring it down more blue just like that because that's how you're gonna be able to desaturate the blues and just it's just how it works I can't even explain it to be honest exposure not gonna worry with that yet exposure you worry about after I usually worry about I usually worry about exposure when I finish all of this stuff here but first, I always go to the contrast, up the contrast. As you can see, it makes a big difference where the contrast is. Highlights, I'm going to be keeping the highlights kind of low because I up the whites and the shadows and the blacks. So the highlights don't need to be brought up that high. Shadows, all the way up, always. Whites, all the way up. For snow photos, you usually keep whites as high as you can. Blacks, keep them decently high. Again, Balax look when it's low, still looks like a dope photo. It's still a dope photo in my opinion. I like it a lot. I just like it like this better. <laughs> clarity, you're going to keep your clarity kind of high, especially for snow photos when you want to get that snow in the sky to be more sharper and to be like more of a fierce feeling. Like if you keep it like if you keep it like uh, on zero, it's much of a softer photo now. It's not as like urgent and scary I guess you could say or moody but when you bring it up higher you get that sharp snow and all that look you know as you could see and I really like that to be honest so next is the vibrance I kept it at a at hundred because it looked like that when it wasn't at a hundred so I put up to a hundred and you'll see why it looks like that without the vibrant with the vibrance at zero when we get to the hues and saturations and luminances and all that so put that back to 100. Saturation just lowered a little bit. Just personal preference again. Tone curve, most important part of this photo. Now, what I do with my tone curves for most of my photos is I keep it at a relatively the same thing to get the same kind of feel for all my photos, the same like look and all that. So I always keep this line right here between the first two points. This line will always be there in all my photos with the first two points. There's always a, a flat line. And then the third point either brings it up, down, or keeps it straight down to the top right. If you if you see, if I keep it down here, you get like that less of a fade, that faded look. If I say I brought this like over here, you get like, I don't know, more of like a gray, just a gray tone in the whole photo. If I bring it down here, it's like, it looks like it's just a ridiculous amount of contrast and just like, super crazy the colors definitely show a little more but if i put it back to where it was i don't know i just think it's perfect like that i love that look 
it's just how what I love to do okay so once you do that that's when you ex mess with the exposure so if we set the exposure back at zero that's what it looks like you could you could solve it either by putting the blacks up a bit or you could put the exposure up I personally like bringing the exposure up just because it just like it brings up the it brings up the color it brings up the brightness of everything not just the blacks and I think that's what this picture needed they need more exposure of everything that's just how I like it again personal preference next is the hues I didn't touch the hues much of this photo all I did was make the yellow a little more orange that's all I did next is the saturations saturations again for the reds and the oranges and the yellows didn't really touch it that much didn't really touch it at all but what I did mess with was the saturations of my greens aquas blues and purples and magentas the reason I was able to do that is because I made the color temperature more blue if it was more yellow I wouldn't be able to do that because then it just looked kind of gross but because I was able to do that if I reset all these right now look at that that's terrible that's not even a photo that's just that's just a blob of blue and just approach to just a giant blob of blue purple and red you don't want that so we're gonna desaturate all those again and it just gives it a good balance next to the luminances I just upped it a little bit for yellow if you see I don't know it just looks good in the lights that in the lights in the truck I think nothing too crazy next is the split toning all I did was add a little bit of red of uh, 5% saturation for the highlights if you see too, if you put anything more than 10%, it affects it way too much. So I think 5% was like perfect. At, at all the way on red. Next is the shadows. The shadows, I made it more of a blue tint. Oh, actually, did I give you not even? I didn't even use shadows. Never mind. I don't even know what I'm saying here. I thought I used shadows. If I did, it could look pretty cool. Like, actually, that, to be honest, looks fucking dope. I actually kind of want to keep that. <laughs> I actually really want to keep that badly. I'll probably make a new edit of this photo with that effect on it. Because, actually, I don't, I don't like the purple all that much. Actually, I'm going to do that right now. Fuck it. I actually really like that look. That looks dope, actually. I like that a lot. I didn't mess with any of the transform at all. Luckily, the, um, the angle that the photo was taken was good. I didn't mess with the rotation at all. You know, it's perfectly the way it is. So we're gonna control Z that or command Z that rather, because we're on Mac. Next is the uh, vignetting, only a little bit, not too much. It just gives it more of a moody feeling if you vignetted a bit. And that's all there is for this photo, besides the fact that I have like a thousand brushes. <laughs> so for the brushes, I pretty much just took this top one here, I put on the windshield, I up the shadows and a little bit of the exposure so you can see the snow on the windshield. If I delete it, it's much darker. With brush, much brighter. This brush right here on, the, on there, I used on the whole ambulance. Made the whole ambulance brighter. Without it, it's just kind of uglyish. With that, it just looks more brighter, and I like that a lot. Actually, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Right there. Okay. Next is this brush right here. I used it just in the license plate. Because without it, it looked all red and stuff. But with, with it, it looked orange, like New York license, like New York, if I could speak, like New York license plates are. And next to this one, I just do it on the tires, so you can see the snow detail on the tires, because tires are black. So if you up the exposure or shadows or anything that's black, you're gonna be able to see the snow a lot better. And so that's what I did. Next is the um, this little brush all the way down here. I brushed on this snow right here just to up the exposure on it, because if I delete it here, it gets super dark. I don't know it looks cool still but I like it when it's brighter that's pretty much it for this photo that's all I did with this photo it's kind of a lot at the same time it's not that much you know you can get crazier and all that but the next photo we're gonna be doing is from scratch now this should be fun okay this should be fun this photo I already I actually already edited this photo but I want to see what I can do in a new edit I'm gonna try to do the same thing but just see if I can almost and I already have an idea exactly what I want to do with it but I want to see if I can execute it okay so right away of course up the contrast up the you can decrease the highlights or you can increase them personally I want to keep them a little higher because I want to keep those lights in Times Square super bright because that's just the way I want it <laughs> you can keep them low you can keep them high it just it's whatever it's your preference 
shadows all the way up whites all the way up for now we can fix that later blacks up a considerable amount clarity at least 35 vibrance i already know what i want so vibrance plus 50. next tone curve very important we're gonna bring it right here i think i think that's good bringing this down right here and then just a little brighter right there okay next i think i'm gonna set the temperature a little more i think like right there is good next is the hues now the main thing i want to do with the hues here is make this taxi yellow taxis are yellow not orange so at least i like them yellow sometimes taxis can be an orange he wish but it's mostly for the most part it's yellow so i make this taxi yellow next is the blues make those little blues a little more aqua and that's pretty much all i want to do for that next is saturation we're making these greens blues all that much lower we're actually going to keep the purples make the blues a little bit higher just like that next is the luminances actually put the blues back down a little bit up the yellows up the oranges up the greens approach up everything for now next is the highlights we're gonna give this kind of like blue highlights right there and we're gonna give it like a red shadow red reddish orange shadow next is one of the most important part of this photo and as you can see with this photo the taxi isn't completely centered it's not completely going at you straight it's going a little bit to the right and it's not centered completely it's on a, it's on this is not on a right angle it's not straight you know so we get to go to the transform spot here now this can be tricky this can make or break a photo you can completely fuck up your photo by not knowing how to use this stuff i barely know how to use this stuff but i do the best i can so first we're gonna straighten the shit out right there rotated it it's straight now next we're gonna be using the horizontal transform to make it look like it's coming at us more okay and now we're gonna use a vertical transform to make it look like it's coming at us even more as well now but because we messed with that we gotta mess with the rotation even more just like that now the distortion i want to make it look like it's more taller than it actually is so we're gonna go like just like that so it looks like it's farther away from us more of a it looks more wide angle than it actually is and we're gonna keep the scale what it originally was at 100 and the aspect we're gonna keep it, we're gonna make it more tall than it actually is now as you can see here now this photo looks like sorry this taxi cab seems like it's actually coming at us now straight if we reset if we reset the photo i think it looks a lot better than it actually did with no photoshop whatsoever i think that's awesome i think that's great next is vignetting add a little vignetting what i like about the vignetting in this photo is that you can get that detail of the snow falling in front of the headlights i like that a lot next we have to go back now and fix the shadows and the highlights and the whites and all that shit and the exposure because it's not exactly what i want it to be yet so right away i want to lower the highlights to about there next shadows keep those all the way up blacks keep those all the way up whites lower them a bit now while i want times square bright in the background i don't want it too bright i don't want it too not bright <laughs> too dark i want it to be perfect and i think right there is like perfect i think that little medium right there is awesome next i want to go on the taxi cab right here and just brush right in front of it and up those shadows a bit now you can see the snow better in front of the headlights actually up the contrast here and then up the highlights now you can really see that snow in front of the or in front of the car next i want to make a new brush right here and just brush all in front of the car brush all that snow and we're going to up the highlights for it 
and bam, you know, you can see the snow better, and I think it looks dope. But real quick, I want to make a new brush right here, and just edit this little spot right here, at that little patch of purple, and just desaturate it a bit and see how it looks. Yeah, that looks a lot better, I think. I don't want I don't miss the temperature too much, but I think that's a lot better than it was because I don't like the purple there. I didn't think it worked. It's more desaturated now. I think it's better. I want to go over here now though and almost kind of do the same thing except get those highlights up. I want to see more of that snow. Like you when I did what I did on the right side, it brought out more snow. So I want to add do the same thing on the left, but I think it's just too bright over there. The snow is too bright overall. So now real quick, I want to see what it would look like if I made all the snow more just brighter and more white looking. Because right now it's very gray because all the cars are going over and all that shit. So let's see what happens if we just make it brighter. A little saturation too of it. Make it more blue. That would help. Oh, there we go. I like that. I like that a lot. That looks fantastic. Now this, oh my god, that changed the photo. I didn't even do that on the last time. I didn't even do that. That looks fucking awesome. That, that's great. I didn't think that was gonna look that good. Shit, that's dope. I really like that a lot. I personally think that this photo is finished. I think I am very satisfied. Actually, there's one last thing I wanna do. Just a minor detail that the average person wouldn't notice, but this headlight right here, it's a little dark. I want to make it a little brighter. Just up the exposure a little bit. I want it to match this little buddy. It's because it has a little snow on it. It's a little dirty, but I think that's better than what it was. But now, this photo is done. Now, if you guys want to see the original version of it, I will show you. So right here, you have the new version. I personally think I like this version better. And now, this is the old version right there new version if it wants to load that'd be great new version old version i like this version because the colors are a lot nicer in this version but i like this version if it wants to come up this version just because the snow looks great and i think it looks awesome but what i think i might do is i'm going to take the snow in this photo make it more white by upping the temperature to more blue and then I'll have that same effect that I have on the new one in the old one making it the best of both worlds because I definitely like the overall colors in this photo it's awesome and this just the snow looks sick in this one so I'm gonna try to put those two together and if you want to check it out I'll be up it'll be on my Instagram by the time this video goes up so if you want to check that out slap a like on it that'd be super appreciated but anyway guys I'm gonna wrap up the video here if you guys enjoyed please be sure to leave a like if you want me to do more of these tutorials on different kinds of photos let me know because I'd be happy to do it happy to do it in all kinds of photography that I venture in and so be sure to subscribe for more tutorials vlogs everything photography related and lastly guys my name is James I'll see you guys in the next video peace can we just like not peace actually no can we just restart that real quick without me saying peace like really really weirdly lastly guys my name is my name is James I'll see you guys in the next video goodbye not peace goodbye